Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Kentucky Colonel Cigar and Spirits Club. Thanks so much for joining us on this cigar review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Padilla 88 Anniversario Robusto. This cigar um, is produced by Ernesto Padilla uh, in Nicaragua. It is a 52 by 5 uh, Robusto and it is box pressed and it has a really nice box press on it, a very uh, rectangular box press, really, really finely, really nicely done. Um, this cigar was um, number 21 in Cigar Aficionado's Top 25 this past year, take that for what it's worth. Um, but I do want to read a little bit blurb about the uh, production of the cigar and why it came to be or why it was created. Uh, it says, quoting from the Cigar Aficionado, um, January, February 2022 edition. Created by brand owner Ernesto Padilla to honor the 88th birthday of his father, Herberto. Herberto Padilla was a famed Cuban poet who was imprisoned in 1971 for criticizing the Cuban government, sparking what became known as the Padilla Affair. So, I don't know much about the Padilla Affair. Um, but I have, this is not my first one of these, I have had um, another one, and I have another one after this, so I had three, um, and, well, let me just say, I've yet to be disappointed. So, um, it is a, it is rolled, like I said, in Nicaragua at the A.J. Fernandez uh, Cigar Factory. The wrapper is Ecuador, uh, the binder and filler are Nicaraguan, and this cigar does contain a, what they say, a touch of uh, Pelo de Oro uh, filler. Uh, tobacco, which is kind of a rare tobacco. It says fickle seed uh, that's tough to grow, so uh, kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that's that actual dark, um, I don't know if you can see that, they're pretty dark leaf right there in the middle, so uh, really neat. Uh, it averages, or uh, MSRP is between $12 and $13 a piece for these sticks, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the pre-light ritual. Uh, the cigar is a dark um, brown in color. It has a very few, very minimal veins on it. Uh, the seams are nice and tight, almost non-existent. The band, although it looks like it has several bands, it's just one big, one large band on the cigar um, that's very, very eye appealing. Uh, the band, or excuse me, the uh, cap on the cigar um, is really well done, nice and rounded, even for this the fine box press that it has. Um, and like I said, the box press on this thing is incredible. It is super solid, very, very well constructed cigar. Uh, no soft spots detected anywhere throughout. So the cold smell is absolutely earth, uh, barnyard. It tickles the nose a little bit. Um, the sinuses, it, it has a little bit of spice on it and a sweet, almost almost like a sweet, uh, there's a sweet note there, like a honey or something. Maybe it's a chocolate. But uh, lots of aroma coming off of the cigar. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and get it uh, cut and do a cold draw on the cigar. I will be using my Lotus um, Jaws cutter with the serrated uh, edges. Cold draw is showing almost the perfect amount of resistance. It just goes to show you how well con well constructed these cigars are. There's a touch of resistance, but you can still get air through the cigar and some taste. I'm picking up more of that barnyard taste uh, in the cold draw, and almost like a uh, thick. almost like some brown sugar notes, uh, to be honest with you. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the cigar lit up and uh, see what it does on the opening. Mm. A very nice opening. This 
cigar immediately opens full in body and with lots of smoke. Um, the smoke is not overly heavy feeling in the mouth. Some really nice peppery notes um, on the palate here to open the cigar. Yeah, this is uh, for sure going to be one that you're going to, that I'm going to have to at least uh, take my time with um, and savor. Um, I don't want to smoke this too quickly. I can feel that the, the nicotine is there. Yeah, so the cigar um, has opened. Very spicy, uh, very big, very bold. Um, getting some, a little bit of earth notes. Um, I think I'm getting some leather in there too, um, just right off the bat. But we'll smoke down uh, the first third of the Padilla 88 Anniversario, and I will be back with you soon. All right, everyone, welcome back. Smoking through, or uh, smoking the Padilla 88 Anniversario Robusto. Uh, made it through the first third, and uh, the cigar ashed on me, uh, so it nat naturally ashed. But while it did, I, I picked up the ash and I rubbed it, uh, some of it between my fingers, and it's pretty, it's pretty gritty um, ash. It's a nice dark uh, gray ash. Um, the combustion, I want to point this out, the combustion line, the burn line on the cigar, it's been a little bit wavy, but it's almost non-existent, uh, which is fantastic. That just goes to show you, again, the quality of the roll uh, on the cigar. The draw on the cigar is fantastic. Uh, it shows just the absolute perfect amount of resistance. Uh, the body of the cigar is full. Uh, it gives off a lot of smoke um, off the the smallest or faintest draw and I would put the strength also at full. Um, this is not a cigar that I'd want to take on without um, having some food in my stomach or uh, this is not the cigar I'm going to reach for for the first part or first smoke of the day uh, because I think it would put me down on the ground uh, pretty quickly. The aroma, uh, the aroma on this cigar is very very unique. It's very very interesting and very very enjoyable. Um, it's reminds me of like a fresh rain uh, in a in a pine forest. Uh, it has a really nice uh, like uh, pine and um, forest uh, notes, like fresh trees and and leaves and brush. It's just really really nice. Very very unique. I don't find that very often on cigars. Uh, taste wise, um, the cigar is still very. It has an earthy tone to it. Uh, the spice is kind of faded. It's in the background. It's kind of a pepper spice. Um, getting some like clove um, or cinnamon notes. Um, I think that's maybe where the spice is coming in. Um, and then the the faintest little bit of caramel um, also. I'm kind of starting to pick that up as we head into the second uh, third of the cigar here. Really, really enjoyable. Really, really nice cigar. Um, Going to keep smoking down on it. Um, no complaints thus far. So. We'll smoke through it and I'll catch you at the end of the second third. All right, everyone, welcome back. Smoking through the end of the second third on the Padilla 88 Anniversario Robusto. Uh, cigar is still performing really well. The, the drawl is still spot on perfect. The aroma is that it's so mystical. Uh, that's probably the best word to describe it, mystical. It's 
that uh, pine forest kind of essence. Not like a pine, not like a car air freshener, don't get me wrong. This is like a fresh, really nice uh, forest, mossy. It's just really, it's unique and it's awesome. Taste-wise uh, on the cigar, um, it's still very earthy. That's the prominent taste, uh, the predominant taste in this cigar's earth. Uh, but it has a really nice woody, kind of oaky character to it as well. And there's also kind of a charred meat, like a, a seared steak kind of thing going on with it. Not bad at all, um, but very, very complex and just very flavorful, really, really nice. Um, there is still a bit of black pepper spice there and that caramel sweetness that I thought was gonna start taking over, it's, it's just really dissipated out of the, out of the profile at this point. Uh, cigar is still full in body, full in strength. Um, not picking up, just kind of staying right at that level. Um, the burn on it has been wavy throughout, um, but that combustion line continues to be just so minimal, almost non-existent. Ash is still a mix of gray and um, just continuing to puff on. So I'll come back here at the end and give you my final thoughts on the Padilla 88 Anniversario. Alright everyone, welcome back. Coming down to the end of the Padilla 88 Anniversario Robusto. And the cigar is finishing like a champ. It is truly a super enjoyable cigar. Super enjoyable smoke. Uh, the burn has been, I mean, a bit wavy, but I have not had to touch it up um, since the second, third. Uh, the ash is a nice soft powdery gray ash. The drawl in the cigar is perfect, primo, spot on. Uh, the aroma is still the, just so unique. It's just wonderful. Um, just It's a wonderful smell, a wonderful aroma. The taste um, that I'm getting here in the end, that sweet uh, sweetness has come back. Uh, there's, a touch of, there's a touch of honey. Um, there's some caramel. Uh, it's wrapped up in this woody, oaky, earthiness it's fantastic it's not harsh the spice is dissipated out uh, here at the end cigar still full in body and full in strength just produces a really nice um, it's not even a thick white smoke necessarily um, it's just it's just really pleasant really really nice I very much enjoyed this uh, cigar if you have not tried the Padilla, uh, any of the Padilla line, go check those out. Um, but especially the 88 Anniversario, this cigar is very much box worthy and I will be picking more up. My hope is that they come in like maybe a box of 10, uh, just because at the price point of 12 to 13 each, uh, that gets, begins to get kind of steep, but certainly, certainly, certainly worth every penny of it. So. Well done, Ernesto, um, and those folks at Padilla Cigars. Pick some up, you won't be disappointed. Um, go ahead and hit that like or that thumbs up button. Uh, visit kycigarclub.com. Uh, also, go check out our podcast, the Kentucky Colonel Cigar and Spirits Radio Show, available on Apple and Spotify. Uh, go check that out. It's a bi-weekly podcast that I do with myself and some other folks in the Kentucky Colonel Cigar Club. And uh, we just chat about cigars, the current you know events in the cigar world, um, and just enjoy a good spirit with cigars and have a great conversation. So, all right, that's it. It's gonna do it. Till next time. Don't forget, slow down, simplify, savor a good smoke. Cheers.